defeating the Islamic State militant group and protecting the homeland from attacks like the one carried out in San Bernardino by a self-radicalized couple. These are among President Barack Obama's top priorities in 2016. Well, uh, we're going to defeat ISIS. And we're going to do so by systematically squeezing them, cutting off their supply lines, cutting off their financing, taking out their leadership, taking out their forces, taking out their infrastructure. We're going to do so in partnership with forces on the ground that sometimes are spotty, sometimes need capacity building, need our assistance, need our training. Uh, but we're seeing steadily progress. At his annual year-end briefing, Obama said international talks on a political solution in Syria are also critical. It's going to be very difficult to completely overcome the devastation that's happened in Syria already, but to find a political transition that maintains the Syrian state, that recognizes there are a bunch of stakeholders inside of Syria, and uh, hopefully uh, to you know, initiate a ceasefire that won't be perfect but allows all the parties to turn on what should be our number one focus, and that is destroying Daesh uh, and uh, its allies uh, in the region. But analyst Anthony Cordesman does not expect any improvement in 2016. We're talking about a series of wars and violent movements throughout much of the Islamic world. And even if we could defeat ISIS tomorrow, by all the statistics we have on terrorism, at least two-thirds of that volume of terrorism would go on because it's driven by other movements. Obama said he also plans to bring the number of Guantanamo Bay detainees to below 100 and expressed hope the White House and new Republican leadership in Congress can work together on things like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the massive trade agreement that must be ratified by the 12 countries who signed it, and on criminal justice reform. After a vacation in Hawaii, President Obama is due to return to Washington in early January to push his agenda for his final year in office. Mary Alice Salinas, VOA News, the White House.